Mark, let's talk about uh, sports drinks. We go down the grocery store, uh, there's a whole aisle dedicated to beverages. One is soda, and the other side is either sports drinks or energy drinks. And, and those have really come on the scene in the last 10 years. Talk about the pros and cons, I guess. First of all, the sports drinks. They're supposed to really replenish our bodies of, with you know, fluids or minerals and vitamins that we lose. Is that always true? Well, um, it depends. I think as a general rule, um, vigorous exercise in excess of one hour in duration. Uh, generally, I think uh, nutritionists and scientists believe you do lose enough uh, electrolytes, uh, minerals from your body that you do need to replenish those. Um, you see uh, people with all sorts of things in their gym bags and they're not necessarily uh, doing that kind of vigorous exercise for that period of time, but they feel perhaps they want to reward themselves for having worked out or simply uh, walk around with the, <laughs> with the bottle. It looks good, yeah. It looks good. I've been working out. I want everybody to know. Um, the truth of the matter is, though, that after vigorous exercise, um, uh, you should replace electrolytes uh, above one hour. And... Um, uh, vitamins and minerals, and those things are in a number of balanced uh, sport drink products, and um, they're helpful to recovery. Can you touch on the people that you mentioned, the ones that work out a little bit and walk around with these? If you're not working out for that duration, are there a lot of sugars in these drinks and things that maybe can cancel out your 15-minute workout that you just did? Not only sugars, but uh, in many cases, caffeine. Okay. and. Uh, whether the source is uh, taurine or, uh, or, or actual caffeine that's been added to a product or uh, some other stimulant, uh, a natural or herbal st stimulant, um, that's going to make you feel some energy. Mm -hmm. It's going to make you feel better. Um, but it's not necessarily good for you. And it doesn't uh, necessarily help your body replenish anything that it's lost. Sugar, on the other hand, um, in the form of glucose or fructose or, or straight uh, sucrose, um, provides caloric value, um, and it also provides immediate energy uh, sources, but uh, the body turns too much sugar to fat, and mm -hmm. in many cases, we consume way more sugar than we should in our diets. Speaking of that, uh, those energy drinks, um it's hard to even read the ingredient labels on some of those things, and they're supposed to give you a boost and, and do little things to boost your energy, but what's in some of those, and, and what does it do to us? <laughs> it's, a, um, it's an alphabet soup of chemicals <laughs> in many cases. Um, goes back to, I think, what we were talking about earlier, what should you look for in foods, and there is a lot to be said for looking for ingredient labels that you can mm -hmm. understand. Um, there are some good things that you might not be familiar with uh, that may sound like chemicals that aren't actually chemicals, but by and large, if you see an ingredient label with uh, 20 plus items on it and you're drinking water, <laughs> you've got a problem. <laughs>